That's nice. You are a miracle worker, my friend. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, Mike Nelson here. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm here with Tom Servo and hey, hey. Uh, Crow T. Robot. Hey, what you got there, Crow? Oh, that's my WWBSMD bracelet. Huh. Whenever I find myself at a moral crossroads, which happens a lot, okay, <laughs> I remember my bracelet, look down, I ask myself, what would Buffy St. Marie do? Then I'm able to get my moral bearings. Huh. Okay, okay. So you, say you had a friend, or say Mike here, and he comes uh -huh. to you wearing a hideous outfit. Right. So, yeah, Mike. And he's just about to go on a date. Oh, so it wouldn't be Mike, would it? No. But, but anyway, he asks you to tell him honestly how he looks. Do you lie and let him make a fool out of himself? Or do you tell him the truth and risk hurting his feelings? Huh. I would write a folk song. Any other dilemmas I can help you guys with? Or? <laughs> no, we're okay. We'll be right back. Hey, little bird, Ooh. I remember you. <laughs> Go on and play your silly games. You won't be laughing after I become a fully accredited mad scientist. <laughs> right after this. Oh, anyway, that's what Jerry Jeff Walker would do. Huh. He sounds like a man of great character. Mm -hmm. Crow, what's the bracelet with all the W's stand for? Oh, uh, this stands for the What Would the Worldwide Wrestling Federation, Woodrow Wilson, Wet Willie, Wesley Willis, Wade Wilson, William Wyler, Wendy Wasserstein, Walt Whitman, Willy Wonka, Vim uh, Vendors. Okay, all right, okay. Can it? Pearl's calling us. Do. So, Nelson, once I'm finished with you, I'll return to the Institute with proof. Proof that it was they who were mad. Mad for not seeing the potential behind my grandest experiment. <laughs> Pearl? What the Samuel Langhorn hell are you talking about? What am I talking about? Why, nothing less than world domination. <laughs> okay, Pearl, I, I think I've got a pretty good idea what you're capable of. I, I'm just gonna make some notes. Okay, great. Um, take any space you need. Thank you. Hey, moron, sorry about all that. I gotta get board certified with the Institute of Mad Scientists. I don't even know it, but it's illegal to rule the world if you're not board certified. Brain guy! Yes, madam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to give you a hum. Oh, look, whatever your feelings are for me, I, I think they should back, be put aside. On your back, idiot. That's sexual harassment, and I don't have to a take A latex it. hum. Now see here, Would that's... you just put this on? Okay, well, why don't you show me how you plan to take over the world, and I'll, I'll throw in if I have any questions. Okay, um, super. Uh, I will just call my subject. Nelson, prepare to be tortured by my madness creation yet. Ha 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 ha. Your movie is wrenched from, uh, wrenched from hell itself. It's called Girl in Gold Boots. 
Okay then, Pearl. Mm -hmm. I am trying to get accredited. Could you please help me out here? Yes, the Mephitic girl in bold boots. Madness! Oh, it's madness! It's madness! It's madness! It's Master! <laughs> No! Oh, 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 I'm sorry, I'm projecting my dreams again. <laughs> They're gonna sock it to us. The girl in the full stick starts her She's moving. She may damage her bippy if she keeps doing that. <laughs> Panty vision. Shouldn't we be in individual booths for this movie? Don't ever let Candy forgot her gold boot. Attention. She's in trouble. It's a jerk and pony marathon. Come on, baby. The dancers are wearing oven bags. <laughs> Uninjured reserve, Mary Wells. Hey. <laughs> hey, those are street shoes on the gym floor. <laughs> Mike, you're a human being. How come you don't have a body like that? Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. The Kennedy said their tribute to Judy Carnes. To the G, to the G chord men, now! Yeah! Don't you stand it still, baby? Ed Grimley choreographed this dance. <laughs> HR Puffin Stuff's Go Go Girl Review. Whatever she is doing, woo! There's something deep inside that girl. I'm not my sacrilily ow. Oh, it's ow. Why does Noam Chomsky insist these women open for him? Uh, Ma'am, could we get a menu or, or just some pretzels, please? Dig it! Boy, the first little affair was weird. Mosh pit! Everybody do the agitator cycle! Mm, mm, mm. What happens when you touch gold? <laughs> Everything I touch turns to gold. Everything I touch turns to flies. Wolfgang Clark's sad demise. Yeah, I've got to test out my frying medium before I use it. But I forgot the me. Ah, the nights we'd linger over brandy at eat. Lucy Baines Johnson shaking her tail feathers. It's a neighbor from the next county asking him to turn down the music. Ah, what manner of loaf will I have tonight? What the? Oh, a gun. So that was a loud report and burning sensation in my groin. <laughs> Can I talk to someone about catering a bar mitzvah? Did you have the puffer fish tonight? Sweet. Hi, I'm Casey Casey. Thanks for the dance, Jukebox. Don't, the fryer's hooked up to the clapper. 
How long have you been there? As long as I've been anywhere else. Long enough to see that you've got a good act? Well, I'll bet you came in here for something besides the show. Uh, yes, I need a puffy hat with a filthy saying. I should tell you, it's my birthday. As a matter of fact, I can... Sorry we shot you back there, Mr. Hopper. As I was saying, I came in here for a piece of apple pie and a cup of coffee. Can I sit inside and have a car seat next time? Mm -hmm. El Cabang is stalking them. You forgot to take the microphone out of the box. Why do you ask? Afternoon, fair lady. <laughs> kind sir. Any idea where California went? I'll check my purse. It went that way, partner. Straight down this here road, Pete. Yeah. Fur Pete. Just beyond Arizona. All right. I have five mighty hungry companions with me on this trip. Appetites you can't imagine. Mm. I'll sell you anything in the place, mister. Take me, take me. I'll settle for ten Hershey bars, please. Ten Hershey bars? Those are hard to eat. Oh. <laughs> we bantered. That'll be one dollar. I've got a happenings coupon. Can you catch a hundred? I've never even seen one. <laughs> Oh, have a thousand Hershey bars then, I guess. Lucky me. Here's a single. Did he just say licky me? <laughs> Goodbye, Fergan over here. I must hasten on to the land of milk and honey. Somebody call for a cab to LaGuardia? He here for you, friend? Hey, I'm not a Quaker. That's Jimmy. He's always hiding out there in for speeders. Ooh, that brought the room down. Uh, goodbye, fair cowboy night, I guess. You're really hooked on this dancing, aren't you? Look, I have ergotism. Hey, ever thought of being a professional? I guess I'd give about anything in the world to be one. I can help you. <laughs> you can help me? Sure. Good? Look, my sister's the number one attraction in Los Angeles <laughs> in a groovy Hollywood <laughs> nightclub. Let me show you. you sure? There she is. My sister, Joan Nichols. This is your sister? Yep. She's really nude. Go on. You're a bigger nut than he was. Oh, no, I'm not. And if you buy now, you also get the cap schnaffler. Same girl. After Rustolium. Listen, I'm on my way to Hollywood right now. Why don't you come with me and I'll bet you my sister can make you into a star. Just like that. And I'll do all that for you in exchange for a little companionship. You know what I mean, like being my relief driver. I want to drive straight through. You want you to drive straight through. <laughs> oh, boy. Have you got a line a mile long? Yeah, I'm serious. I'm sure you are. Look, I may have stars in my eyes, but I don't believe everything I hear. No! Come in here! And bring the baby wipes. Thank you. Girl, I told you an hour ago to get them pots and pans washed. Daddy, I've got a customer out front. Uh, give me the bucket. You do them dirty dishes now. Take care of the front. No, please. What did you say? <laughs> Mr. Johnson hired me to take care of the front. And you to take care of the Powder! Kitchen. You want to get us fired again? Don't you get smart with me? I'm not getting smart. I can't. Just that you've been drinking. You're going out there and making a fool of yourself anyway. Because I excrete oil? But I've been drinking. I slapped up a few stinking beers, so I ain't good enough to be a father no more, huh? Daddy, please. Baby, Daddy, please. <laughs> you afraid I'm gonna breathe in some of your lousy studs out there? Whoa. That's enough. Man, no good tramp. You're just like your mother. You're right. I am like her, and I'm glad. At least she had enough guts to get away from you. <laughs> hey, they have tacos. Hmm. 
My father passed away. I stuck his head in the deep fryer. What's wrong? I just found out what's in the special sauce. <laughs> you know what this place needs? A business card jar. Yeah. yeah. You still want someone to go to Hollywood? Because my dad wants to go. Bet I do. Help yourself to another cup of coffee while I get some things back. Pepsi paid handsomely for this product placement. And... Okay, I can have coffee. Am I implicitly allowed to take cream as well? Hmm. Maybe I should have a poetry slam on Wednesdays. <laughs> sure hope Sis still swings at that spot on sunset. I packed like 50 cheeseburgers. Uh, Michelle, look. I guess I'd better complain with you. There is another reason I ask you along. I know. We can fight about that later. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, I'll treat you any way you want to be treated. Fair enough? You were serious, weren't you? Sure, sure, I was serious, but... Well, there is one minor complication. I smell like ham. I ain't got enough bread for gas all the way into L.A. Will you be able to help in that department, too? I'm going to go get a goodbye slap from Dad. So, no one called a taxi? I took a toothpick. We can sell it for traveling money. Bye, Dad. Car's got a severe underbite. Yeah, it's illegal to not stop and eat. <laughs> Baby, I think you're gonna be good for me. The old luck is changing already. Who am I? Mrs. Khrushchev. <laughs> and so past the eat phase of my life. No playing Jimmy Rogers. <laughs> it's a car. <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta go. Can you stop for a second? I have to dance. Comanches are watching. Ah, here we are at Drink, Boink, and Regret. So, what do you think of Hollywood so far? Snack time. Anything special you want? Yeah, a place to comb my hair. There's probably an intensely foul bathroom there. Let's see what they have. Start seeing motorcycles. See? Come on, move it. Hey, man, you ready for move it? <laughs> <laughs> you are a delight. Mm. Yeah, my baseball card fell out of my spokes. You meet the nicest people on a Honda. Welcome to nothing but jerky. Uh, we've talked it over. Uh, I was ready for Move It, but my friend here had some reservations. <laughs> Would you like to take his brains out and play with him now? There were none of those shenanigans in here. You come in for what you wanted and leave. There's no problem, ma'am. No problem. Look, she's thinking of Coke. <laughs> And that's just his breath. Wow, they have bomb pops. In my panic, I bought nothing but napkins. Where will I comb? <laughs> yeah, tonight is kind of special. You know, it's okay. You couldn't possibly make it more sticky. 
The bikers are still inside, flipping through Tikkun. <laughs> when he sits there, he's going to get croisoned. My God, Buzz, you're out of your mind. Don't you know they'll kill you for that? Don't you worry your pretty head about it. Okay, ugly head. Let's get out of here quick. I'm gonna drive in reverse and get some of that gas back. Free beer! Lick the bike! A talk with a chick. I'm a snobby man? You better believe it. We'll snub him. Let's organize a party quick and not invite him. <laughs> yeah. Hey, wait for me. My kickstand's stuck. Wait. Ow. Okay. They're going to force him to pay half on a bottle of armor all. Should have left some chuckles on his seat, too. Hey, my butt is drunk. Really? It's really upsetting what he did to our bikes. I feel anger and I don't know how to direct it. First time I've driven with my blood alcohol under two. It's really easy. Raw, I come back here and pick that up. <laughs> Shh, there's a bat on the hood. Okay, you're a dancer. Get out. Bye. Keep the motor running. Uh, check the oil. Wipe the windshield. Batman. <laughs> He's giving himself a drunk test. Starring Regis Philbin. Stay back. He has a can of grape knee high. He's going to hit him with a garter snake. Clinton. I ain't gonna play some city. Well, let's go back to law school. We're terrible bikers. Have fun. Well, we're not gonna have fun now. I'm glad you're back. I was locked in. I feel exhilarated. Let's get a pony keg and head to Sturgis. Hell's pusses. <laughs> what are we gonna do now, man? Why don't you just shut your mouth? <laughs> Why don't I have any friends? Hey, guys. Yeah, Mike. You're probably wondering why I'm pissed off at you. Oh. Uh, no, not really. Well, too bad. I'm going to exact petty, childish revenge on you. Oh. Yeah, and I'm going to have to pour beer on your most beloved object. Oh. <laughs> uh, what, what is your most beloved object, if you don't oh, mind? Oh, uh, well, I'd have to say my personalized heirloom beer stein. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, say, could you uh, help me exact revenge, please? Oh, no, please, Crow, no, uh, sure. Okay, okay, there. Nice and easy, like. Yeah, right. yeah take the beer there, that's right. <laughs> and pour it all over your stein. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that's right, you're gonna get what you got coming, Mr. Cool. Teach you a lesson in a big way. <laughs> but, Crow, you're out of your mind. Don't you know he'll kill you for that? Uh, don't worry your pretty little head about it, Servo. Oh. Hey, you know, Crow, I should tell you that uh, you are most beloved to me, too, you know that? Okay then, buddy, you are going to take that beer and throw it on me. But oh. Crow! Do it! Oh. Yeah, that's right, loser. Right. <laughs> you know you got it coming. There you oh. go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Revenge is sweet. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now get out of here, you punk, and take your damn beer with you. Okay, all right, well, I, I think I've learned my lesson. Uh, oh. See you, Crow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now that didn't pan out quite the way I expected. Oh.
Ah, oh, it's good beer. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to turn you on. Well, I said I was sorry. Look, I'm really remorseful, you cow. Take away the breath well, say something. I guess I was just tired. That's why I didn't really do anything to make you mad. Come here. I need you to help me shift the turbo hydromatic. Okay, you can sex me now. Ooh, he slips up the babushka. And next comes the wig. <laughs> Please accept my tongue as an apology. Uh, wait a minute, one of your spacers fell out again. Oh, wait, it was a dream. He's kissing his Budweiser. Hmm? Nope, forget that scene. Never mind. <laughs> you should be showing more leg. Yeah, someone else's leg, I think. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hey, you recognize him? Of course I do. He's the guy with all the words. You mean he's the guy with all the bread? Hmm? Come on, let's go pick him up. Words, bread, must be Samuel Johnson with a baguette. <laughs> the Good Samaritans, I presume. Need help? Yeah, I guess you could say so. Traveler here on my bike seems to have thrown a rod. Well, now, it seems to me you got an awful lot of trouble with that wreck. Yesterday you had it on a truck bed. Oh, yeah. We've met before, haven't we? Yeah, boy. Why, you, my fair lady, you're Guinevere. <laughs> but I don't seem to recall your name, sir. Look, cut the baloney out, huh? You want a ride? <laughs> my other name is Michelle. He's Buzz. Michelle and Buzz. I'll allow it. Mine's Critter. Critter? Yeah, you know, like a cowboy's horse or a wayward cab without a home. <laughs> Look, come on, you want a ride? Yes, we do. What do you mean, we? Well, Traveler and I. Oh, and a look-wise guy ain't carrying no beat-up old motorcycle in the back of my car. Oh, you won't have to. I got a tow bar. Oh, you gotta have a bumper hitch for one of them to work. Ah, it just so happens I have one of those, too. You know, in fact, I have a car, too, so I guess I don't need a ride. Three hours and four bumpers later. We'll take the sidewalk for another couple of miles. Oh, no, they picked up Joan Baez. Is there a papoose tied to the motorcycle? You know, I can't get over your name. It's a funny name, Critter. Some fellas gave me that name when I was in the Peace Corps. I'm back! Yeah, you know, it's between <laughs> Indian and Tibet. I helped the uh, native Sir Jackson. <laughs> yeah, you're kidding. Anybody notice that I'm here now? Critter, I'll bet you've got a college education. Mm, well, yes and no. I didn't get a degree, but I tried my hand at Columbia and Berkeley. I wish I could have gone to one of them. Come on, I just teleported here. It's Not impressive. Scholarly type. Look, I hate to buddy on this real brilliant conversation, but we gotta <laughs> ping it out of here. Waitress, check, please. Now, how about it, critter old pal? It seems to me this place ought to have changed for a 50. <laughs> Maybe even a 100, huh? Now, three waters, those little fish-shaped soup crackers. I'm an icky elf. <laughs> Ever since I got back, I've been carrying my bill full full of Nepalese money. From the land of nipple. But you can try to get it cashed if you like. You tell funny foreign currency jokes. I'm Critter. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, baby, shell out yours. Here? Hey, your money's from Senegal. Ten bucks, that's all you've got? I had to buy gas last night. But you went back to the cash register. And took what was coming to me. It amounted to $14. Well, that's just great. You didn't have to take out FICA. With this tab coming to $450, that'll leave us a lousy $550 to get to L.A. Look, I didn't take any more from the cash register than $14. Ooh. That was mine. That was my yearly salary. OK, yak boy, can you take care of your own share? Yeah. Natural born cheapskates. I can come up with my own share. Uh, here's some Guatemalan Quetzal. And $15 more to boot. Why, we ought to be able to reach Los Angeles with 20 bucks. Come on. 
Let's get some of those pillowy little mints at the cash register. Well, I should get a little to-go box for my butter pat. Yank the engine off a KitchenAid blender. Ah! I'm throwing it violently into the next seat. Hi, <laughs> can I be in your movie? <laughs> this makes me want to throw hard candy at people. So they blew the 15 bucks on a dune buggy rental. We're thinking of adopting. A new motorized beach bathtub. <laughs> and the movie ends. No. no. Let's drive through the oil-soaked ducks again. Well, apparently the story is none of our business. <laughs> what a ride! Enjoy it. Woo. Hey, you want to go for a ride? Uh, no, I guess I'll pass for now. Thanks a lot. All right. Well, I don't know about you guys, but... I'm an icky elf. I'm thirsty. <laughs> so long, odd acquaintance who inexplicably gave us rides in your dune buggy. <laughs> there goes... You can say that... Well, you and Buzz plan to get married in L.A.? You don't need to spell in front of me. I'm riding with him to L.A. He's going to help me get started as a dancer. His sister can help me. That's all there is to it. Well, my naive country girl, I hope it's that simple. Uh-huh. I'm going to be a dancer. Maybe Buzz does seem a little crude at times, but you just have to get to know him. It helps if you meet the other L. Like two days? Hey. My name's Critter. Don't pay attention to me. What you do is your own business, and it's really no concern of mine. That's right, it is no concern of yours. <laughs> I'm going to become a dancer critter and a good one. You said yourself I'm pretty. I'm good at dancing, too. Compared to Stephen you're Hawking. You're when you're wet and angry, honey child. Critter, stop teasing me. I want you to take me seriously for a while. Okay, little nummy head. I'm taking you seriously. Thank you. Anyway, what I was saying about dancing is that when he does, Hey, he's mine. Take your hands off him. I'm having critters varmint. You stay away from Michelle, understand? <laughs> Why don't you let her decide that? Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Are you here in California to play for the Act Born? He's broken down old motorcycle. Or are you here for a reason? Are you Chuck? Chuck! I'm allergic to shellfish. I'm here to be a dancer. I'm gonna go into voice work too. <laughs> well, now the whole picnic is ruined. I'm a crummy critter. Alberta, it looks like. I don't know. Find your number? Uh, yeah. Will this be cash or charge? Uh, will you take a toothpick? Cash. On second thought, I'll just put it on my gun. Hey, that guy's totally pistol whipped, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he flicked a booger. Oh, shoot, it's all green stamps. <laughs> Sounds like Max and 99 should be sneaking around outside. <laughs> oh, don't forget your Roman Gabriel collector's plate. <laughs> oh, shoot, they're closed. It, oh. <laughs> I like the car keys in the store. Did you get my Barathod bar? Hey, what the devil's going on? Stay in the car. Get behind the wheel. Come on, get more behind the wheel. Come on. Where's the attendant? Sound asleep. Okay, roll this baby out of here. Buzz, what have you done? You gone crazy? Move it! I got 50 bucks. We got dune buggy rides all week. 
Hey, crimes like this never happen anymore now that we have McGruff. I hope we're here in time for folk rock. Hey, they drove straight to Christmas Village to blow the wad. I'm a lonely cow for Santa. To some I may look straight. Oh, it's lovely weather for a surfboard together with you. We're the Bank of America. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> A bunny from heaven. Hey, Pally. The boys get holsters and six guns. The girls are hobby Dr. Doolittle? That doesn't look like Eddie Murphy. No. I think someone slipped us their vacation videos. Okay, keep it coming. I'm not convinced that they're in L.A. yet. An 18-story office building? This could only be L.A. Oh, Charles Manson walks our streets. The Zodiac Killer's at large. Charles Bukowski is puking up the window and Santa Claus is on his way. Hey. Merry Christmas, everyone. Let's go to the haunted house. <laughs> Boo, sir. Thanks for the car, buddy. <laughs> yep, I know the werewolf here. Wow, this is like eight times four. Love this. Yeah, see how they shake their boobs? Man, think of a lucky kid who stumbles on this haunted house. Yeah. Look, something. Stacy Keach. A butts or brass? Would you like to sit down? Get lost. I've worked here six years, sir. It's going to be hard to find a place I don't know about. My friend Count Chocula? You enjoying the show, pal? Yeah. You guys are broke. Go home and watch a late late movie on TV. Do you know Von Ryan's Express is on? Now don't get cute, son. Or my doppelganger will kick you out. The Mount Rushmore of Ugly. We're just waiting for the show to get over. That's my sister. The one in the middle? One who just fell off the stage? Da Donna, where are you going? Hi, Cindy, good luck. Thank you, I'm the one who jumped, thank you. This show made possible by a grant from the Onan Foundation. Hey. I forgot to tell you about our pasta special. One. Ha, ha, ha. Two. Ha, 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 ha. You and I. Now they're singing, keep your brown truck of boots moving, I yeah, guy. <laughs> I don't dance, I just kind of walk in place. I'll direct you to the Dancer's Brothers Lounge. <laughs> oh man, the duct tape did not come off easy tonight. Oh. Hey, Joni, you've got visitors. Who is it, Liam? Come on, sis, open up the door. Yeah, they're moving to California with me. 
Uh, this is uh, Michelle Casey, Britta Jones. Glad to meet you, Miss Nichols. Hello, Michelle. Oh, it's pretty. Hello, Critter. Hi, Miss Nichols. Come in, come in. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Oh, you met Leo, I guess. Well, no, not officially. Mr. Sayer? Oh, well, I want you all to meet my one and only, Leo McCabe. He owns the place. I blink at you. Well, now that we got the greetings settled, brother, tell me, what are you doing out here on the coast? Did you uh, finally get in some serious trouble? Hey, you kidding? None of those good citizens are hip enough to catch me. The fuzz may be numb where you come from, friend. But they're pretty well with it on the Hollywood scene. <laughs> nice pants. You give me. I'll give you what? You lay that gun on me, sweetheart. Buzz, my God, are you kidding? Kill it. I'm talking to Sweetheart. I'm not going to come, Sonny. No. That makes me shiny. I enjoy your pants as well. Somewhere, Charlton Heston is weeping. When do I get it back? You don't. There are only a few people in this town who back these things. And most of them are cops. If you need some bread, I can help you. But I don't like bad-mannered kids with guns. Dig. I guess that's groovy. You, uh, come to my office and we'll talk, okay? Ciao. That's my favorite breed of Chinese dog. Thank God he didn't notice my weird pushed-in face. Don't let him bug you, Buzz. Oh, well, I'm not bugged. I... I just forgot I was at someone else's ballpark for a moment. Started playing fungo. What about you, Michelle? You gonna be moving on with Critter? No, she is with me. Uh, oh, Joni, I want to be a dancer. Says you ought to see her dance. She is just great. Mm. I told her you're gonna help her get started. Thanks. Does she have any investment metal boots? Just try me. I'll work. Really, I will. Well, um... There is a breast shortage in L.A. Uh, we'll take a look at you tomorrow. Just an audition. That's all I ask. Oh, oh okay. We'll uh, audition you tomorrow. You need a bra fitter at all? Or? Looks as though you folks pretty well have your future set. I feel like the Lone Ranger, riding off looking after folks that are going to live happily ever after. Well met, fair critter. <laughs> well, so long. Thanks for the buggy ride. Any time, yak boy. Thanks, alpaca man. Roadkill, wait. You sure she's with you? Yeah, in a way that makes her look like she's with other guys. <laughs> All right, baby, shake what your mama gave you, yeah! Hey, Tom, have you seen the scotch tape? What the hell is going on here? Well, we set up a little club here, Mike. Good times, man. But Crow is... is Shaking his moneymaker. That's right. Go, baby. Oh, I'm going. Check this out. What? Oh, yeah. Stop. Shake your Stop. good stuff, baby. Big Crow, he's shaking all his various things, and he has a tiny gold bikini on. Not for long. <laughs> yeah, but first you have to stuff money in it. Oh, oh, yeah, Mike, get my bag. We gotta start stuffing. I gotta roll of singles in there as big as a pork roast. No, <laughs> no, Crow will keep all his clothes on, no matter how minuscule they are. I don't even usually wear clothes, Mike. What's your deal? I think you're uncomfortable acknowledging Crow as a sexual being. He's not a sexual being. He's a robot, and so are you. Man, you have such body issues, Mike. <laughs> Mike Taliban Nelson. You know, I'm sorry if you're ashamed of your body, Mike. We are not. Uh, ashamed of our bodies, that is. We are ashamed of yours. <laughs> That's right. Here we go. Watch this. No, no. Hey. Oh, oh, stop it. Stop it. In the name of all that is good and decent. Is the good please. Stuff. Oh, 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 yeah. Hey, bartender, hook me in a long neck and put on everybody's working for the weekend. Shake your peach cobbler, baby. Good times. <laughs> Oh, hell, we got movie sign. Uh, uh, you're such a Puritan. Oh, 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 no. That was pretty hot. <laughs> We're not going to a hoedown. Uh, you want Leo to hire you as a dancer or a dishwasher? You'd have to get a gold hairnet, of course. 
This is from the L.A. Skank collection. You're about the same size I am. Except you're misshapen and horrible. Let's get you in the beat. This is what you need to show off what you got, baby. Let's see here. Well, here we go. Help wanted burglar. Cheap, crabby idiot needed immediately. <laughs> Don't roll that. Attendance not seriously hurt. Front page. Yeah, sure. The front page of the LA Times. $40 robbery. Nobody hurt. <laughs> Rhoda, are you home? <clears throat> the photo of Candle seem out of place. Ta-da! Oh, she looks mildly less frumpy. How do you like it? Beautiful. Now I can go to costume parties dressed as margarine. One more time. <laughs> yeah, let me turn you Help you. Let me help you with your Thank bowling you. balls here. Ah, uh, Merry Christmas, I guess. Oak salad. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's good, but we're casting the tempest here. What are they doing Feldenkrais? Dark. Oh, no wonder. <laughs> well, okay, boys, you've had your fun. Go on with the work. Sure thing, Leo. Mr. McCain. Sure thing, Mrs. Miller. Okay, now, this is how you frighten a black bear in your camp. Now let's try dancing. How do you not get hired as a dancer here? <laughs> yeah. I think she'll do. Can you uh, have her ready tonight? Well, there's license and dealer prep, but yeah. She'll be ready, Leo. Good. Yeah! <laughs> Turn around. Hey, what the, oh, bad oh, cut! Oh, well, my educated janitor. Well, you look half human with that beard gone. Don't let that fool you. How you doing? How would I know? Things going okay? Only one complaint. What's that? The water's too hard to make a good bucket of suds. Aha, so this movie is just a diatribe for soft water pellets. Don't you remember what I offered you? Anytime you say, I can do much better for you. Much. Well, a smart fellow like you should waste his time up in the floors. Well, I like this new beardless vermin, you critter. Yeah. Okay, so I plant my feet and pretend to almost fall over. Hard water and stuff. <laughs> hey, uh, me, honey. Uh, come on. And convulse, and one, and convulse. Hey, man, I've been going around the block for 20 minutes. I don't even have my earth shoes on. 20 minutes around the schoolyard? The way you look, they'll be busting you for a deviate any second. Come on, get out of here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I have a special order for tomorrow morning. Blueberry waffles, man. I thought we were only supposed to hit this spot once a week. And that's all we're gonna hit. Somebody better be here tomorrow, or else you ain't gonna be making any more deliveries in this neighborhood, baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're a being critter. I better shred up some tissue for my bedding tonight. Well, well. That's all I have to say. Bye. Ah, oh, my faithful traveling companion. See, so you've been promoted from yak boy to mock boy, huh? I have? And how's your new job? You had a chance to murder anybody yet? Well, you know, I've been trying, but they hey! You stay away from me, Shaw. Now, look, you're not fooling anyone. You still got your eye on her. Well, it fell out on her. I'm sorry. I admit, I like Michelle a lot. Buzz, do you honestly think she'll ever be you, though? Well, I'm warning you. Because I won't leave nothing but the pieces. I swear, I'll kill you. Now let's hear leaving on a jet plane. Buzz. You need a back rub? You know, you're like a blind rattlesnake. Hmm? You hear a noise and you strike. Yeah, well, you're like a deaf puff adder. You should try staying calm. 
Think of Perry Como. Then you could think and observe. If you did that, you'd know I'm no threat to your love life. Get it? I'm G-A-Y. You're about as gutless as this bike of yours. Why, if I weren't so tired, I'd throw more flowery language at you. Yeah. Many of these gals went on to marry some of the biggest scums in L.A. These gals make me laugh every time. Go, Mary Tyler Moore, go! Hey, Witchy Poo's sitting there. Hmm. Hey, get up there, shake a tail feather. I hope she has some sort of gel insert in her boots so she doesn't get shin splints. <laughs> Hey, Geraldine. Leave me in pot for the day. I really stink. Families love it. They're funnier than the Rich Brothers. Little afternoon delight. Ah, ah, forget it. A critter. We're celebrating our anniversary. Marlo Thomas and the Marloettes. Brought to you by the Gregory Method. Oh, it's not fun for me anymore. That move really blew it. Man, I left the Jesuits for this. Go team! The band thinks everyone loves them. Mike, Mike, look, underwear! I see it, I see it. I don't think I goofed a single step, did I? No, no, babe, not a goof in the car load. Great. <laughs> Thank you for putting me at the end of the line. That isn't your spot. I just put you there in case they noticed you made a goof or something. But that spot belongs to one of the other girls. Well, you just leave it there. Hmm? Okay. Starburst? Thank you. You don't think it'll make anyone mad, do you? So, let them find another joint. Why do people even go to movies that don't feature underwear? I don't know. Here. Put on B. Arthur's Moo Moo. Put this on and uh, come out front with me. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Well, uh, oh. I want you to meet some of the customers. Oh. It's good for business. Slipping into curtains. Goodbye, underwear. <sighs> ah, man. And uh, that's for tomorrow night. I uh, want you to dance in Johnny's place. Chachi won't let her dance anymore. My intentions are honorable. <laughs> well, well, she needs a day off. Besides, she's tired. Oh. <sighs> Wait, I'm fine. My suppos have refreshed me. Yeah, my hair fell down. <laughs> Pills if I'm gonna have a holiday. You would really be nicer, honey bean. I don't know. Oh, um, by the way, I'm having a little party later. I'd uh, like you there. Okay? Sure. Great. I think the greasy pusher likes me. Good luck with your addiction. Bye. Hey, now sit like a proper junkie. Mm. 
Man, if it gets any wilder here, a bridge game is gonna break out. <laughs> Wait, why are they in a different room? Have we seen a tick that big? Um, it's actually a ham roll. I didn't think he'd light it. Hey, suddenly I love the Allman Brothers. Come on, let's put on Sister Mary Elephant. I think this is Dan Rowan's life story. I'm going to carve out an apple and finish this. Well, I'm hungry and paranoid, thanks. Where am I? Come to my dimension. It's fun over here. <laughs> you really look great in that dress. Can I borrow it sometime? Thank you. Glass is empty. Here, take mine. I'm getting silly. Cheers. Cheers. Well, we better go home now, Mom. <laughs> so then the guy says, Dave's not here, man. <laughs> I bet you move pretty good at it. Can you help me with my couch on Tuesday? Why don't you show me what you can really do? Huh? Yeah. Come on. Groove, baby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gee, she sat in the clam dip. Hey, do you know? Oh, my goodness, she's hepped up on the drugs. Dancing for Adley Stevens in there. She makes Elaine Bennis look like a good dancer. Thanks, that's most exciting. I'm over here. Whatever, white people. When sexy becomes annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, it's fun until someone loses an eye. Next, Kitty Carlisle will read Howl. Yeah, 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 right, 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 uh huh, yeah, 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 uh huh, yeah, right. Yeah. Hey, that's her Gore Tex winter bra. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you're worth some steam, baby. I should wear a bikini. My mom's card parties used to end up like this. Oh, your silver ones, we don't mean to discriminate against the other colored boots. The wounded turkey. Boy, I'm glad Oliver Platt didn't get this role. Yeah. <gasps> you know, now it's kind of like vaguely sexual wallpaper. <laughs> I couldn't possibly go farther in show business. Thank you. I hope that in my small way I have kept my gold boots moving. Thank you. Thank you. Well, well. <laughs> Glad to see somebody made it. You know, I hate doing business with uh, leery people like Marty. You know what I mean? That's how people get pop. <laughs> Arafat in the 60s. Where's the junk? Relax. Live a little bit. I mean, what's the use passing all this bread if we can't have fun? Right, baby? <laughs> <laughs> We're icky. You know, for a new cat, you sure learn it fast. <laughs> Pushing's fun. Uh, the money first, huh? What's the matter? Don't you trust me, Buzzy? He's Ruth, Buzzy? I wouldn't trust you with a care package. <laughs> well, it's sweaty and it's got crew X on it, but... Yep. Hey, Joey. Why don't you look at the tire, huh? Sure, I enjoy a good radial as much as the next guy. Man, this thing is coated with squirrel guts. 
Okay. See you next Friday, Buzzy. Mm -hmm. Second in Maine, huh? Don't forget, 2 p.m. Okay, See baby. See you later, Buzzy. Mm -hmm. See you oh, I hope he comes to the Pusher's Christmas party. Yeah. Uh, I take pride in knowing I provide the kids quality drugs at reasonable prices. Excuse me, young fellow, can I get a fix? Really, I'm very strung out in the need of some Mary Jane or reefer. Slipping on filth is fun. Thought you could break up with me, huh? <laughs> P please, don't explain my star sap to me. <laughs> it's the Tab Hunters. Do you guys ever notice those girls in front of us when we play? What's that about? Hey, man, hold it. Hey, someone's taking Schmidt guitar lessons back there. Who's that? I don't know, but I like it. Look at these hippies. Get a haircut! <laughs> I keep missing the strings. Hi. Hello. I was just listening in. What's the name of that tune? I call it Lousy. It doesn't really have a name yet. I've been thinking about calling it Do You Want to Laugh or Cry? <laughs> oh, it's one of yours? I like it. It has a good sound. Oh, I'm Chris Howard. Who cares? Critter Jones. You have the thing written down? Just the words. I never dreamed anyone else would want to play it. Well, why don't you come out front? Let's give it to the guys. Uh, I'd like to see what they could do with it, okay? Sure. I really enjoyed that one bar. Do you have any more of those? Yeah, I've got a bunch lying around. Great, because we may want to burn them or crap on them or something. Hey, my three sons grew up and started a band and hired two other guys, I guess. Kevin Spacey and William Holden, enjoy the show. One E and a two E and a damn. No, no, it's not working. Maybe what I heard this morning was the furnace kicking in or something. Do you want to laugh or cry? Oh, it looked like John Tesh. If you gentlemen will excuse me. Oh, you don't have to go yet, baby. Yes, I have to get changed for my next show. Don't be too long. Man, who wrote that turd of a song out there? P.U. Now we'll have to say goodbye to you in a note. I'm going to say it in semaphore flags. Are you really leaving this time, Critter? Yes. As soon as I finish my sculpture of Devil's Tower, if you take a good look around you, you would too. Hmm? Close the door. I'd be on the other side of it. Now sit down. You've probably never done it before, so let me show you how. Leo deals in narcotics, LSD, and you name it. And Buzz is up to hearing it with him. So? Well, I think they should expand into angel dust. I sold a couple of songs today for a hundred bucks. You can have half. Some guy paid me to destroy them. $50. It's more than anyone else has offered me. He don't even want me. Hey, I'm not trying to be funny. Man, I wish that were true of Jim Carrey. I was afraid you weren't. So, can I have your autograph? Look, Michelle, you can't afford to get mixed up with this bunch. Who says I have to get mixed up with anyone? It was just lap dancing for some old guys, that's mm -hmm. all. Listen to me, Michelle. The pigs of this world won't let you sit on the fence above the mud and watch the action for very long. They want corn husks. You either run when they spot you, or they'll pull you down. And then you have no choice. Now, I say they have a spotted. Mm. It's time we find a new fence to straddle for a while. Not a chain link, though. That would hurt. Just ask me to go away with you, and I will. What in the devil do you think I've been doing? I mean, ask me because you want me. Because you need me. Mm. It doesn't matter what I want or need. Critter. Where? Oh, oh. Please tell me that you love me. Then I'll go away with you. We can get out of here together. Tell you a thing like that? I 
And then have you hate my guts when you find out about me? Huh? <laughs> Not on your life, baby. Find out about what? Yeah. All right. You ask for it. I don't like potatoes. You think I'm just a college dropout in the Peace Corps? <laughs> well, I'm much bigger than that. I'm Adolf Hitler. Next week, I'll be on the wanted list of the FBI. Hmm. Finley Jones, alias Critter Jones. Alias Smith and Jones. Wanted for refusal to serve his country in time of a national emergency. Are you supposed to be in the army? Next week, I'm supposed to be, only I won't. A draft dodger. <laughs> you? I don't know. All I know is that I've got to find a hole to crawl into so they can't find me. Talk to Courtney Love. That's the kind of man I am. One that's got to find a hole to crawl into. All right. You find your hole. <laughs> me? I'm staying here. Why should I leave? Leo says I'm really going places. Just because he deals and don't, that doesn't tarnish me. Oh, that's what you think, baby. <laughs> tarnish isn't a strong enough word for what he'll do to you. Try corrode for size. Yeah, corrode. Great. Why don't you take a good look at Joni? She's been places with Leo, and there's a trashy book written in every line on her face. Aren't you the great one? Gretzky? Solving other people's problems. Hey, I polished my shirt for you. Bad traveler, bad boy. So he became a busker in the London tubes. <laughs> If I could save time in a bottle, sign me makes my heart low. Well, Morrissey's more upbeat songs. Yeah. Be the reason I guess he's got a microphone implanted in his throat. Yeah. Oh, I can't go out with you because I'm considerably bigger than you. What's that over there? Dum -da -dum -dum -da -dum 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 I'm gonna take off. I'm meeting someone for lunch. I'm gonna tune that D string there. He gets a nice harmonica sound out of that guitar. Logan, David, and Man, oh, Manischewitz. Say, I just remembered, could you return that one book I lent you? Okay, then, I'm not coming back this time. Draft board just called and told him, never mind. Don't ask, don't sing. <laughs> Look, I'm getting a little annoyed with you summoning me back here every five seconds. Could you at least get your guitar neck out of my ear? Oh, I see, Critter. You're giving them your version. Oh, bitter dregs. Got into a fuse box. Uh, there's a small fire. Uh, that's okay. We'll get it. Oh, I need you so. 
so much I fall down and cry. You smile Mike, uh, look. And oh, I'll wait. You're like wine. Uh, Mike, the fire's a little worse than we thought. It must have gotten into some insulation or something. Oh, oh boy. Many ladies, they are fair ladies all. Look, Mike, what we need you to do is to move out of that part of the ship. <sighs> Raindrops and snowflakes and puppies. Mike, would you forget about the raindrops and the puppies and get out? Life support is failing. Decks three through seven are gone. Oh my God, struggle look out! Ah! Is there like wine? Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, Mike, uh, we got it. <coughs> oh, there's still a lot of smoke and water down here, but as far as we know, it's out. Uh, look, we're going to go make some nachos, okay? Nachos? Oh, be right there. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Well, huh? We Nearly yeah. died. Uh, this is the new dancer. Just wanted to get him a locker and a gold bikini. Well, mister, if you're a cop, I want you to know I'm not responsible for this punk in any way or manner. It just so happens he's the brother of one of my dancers. He blew in last night from back east. A cop? <laughs> Heaven forbid. No, I, I'm no cop. However, I am associated with the police, uh, rather closely associated. He is kind of nutty, Leo, but he's got one beautiful scam now. You better listen to what he has to say, huh? Uh, boss, you gonna take a shot? Since when did you start telling me what I should hear? At the company retreat, you said you'd be more open to ideas. What do you want? Uh, well, you see, one of my best friends is a hophead. You have my sympathy. <laughs> oh, there's no need for concern. Mary Tyrone. Well fed by a sort of a foster mother named Joey. Never heard of him. It's just as well. I'm sure that you prefer a higher degree of intelligence than your employees. Right. Joey isn't very bright. He proved that by not listening to my story. Well, he sounds pretty smart to me. Poor Joe is also not very careful. When he refused to listen, it became necessary for me to follow him and speak to his connection. <sighs> Young man with far more on the ball. You might find it expedient to promote him. Really. Yeah, Dad, I've really learned a lot about drugs. Of course, this is no surprise to me. The connection should always be smarter than the pusher. If he weren't, then he would be the pusher. The pusher would be he. Leo, 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 look. He told me he's a trustee at the Eastwood County Jail about, you know, 40 miles from here. And I've been a guest there on other occasions. Yeah, yeah. Now, he says the narcotics squad out there made a big hit last weekend. Leo picked up over $100,000 worth of stuff. They keep it in an empty cell at the jail. Uh, locked, of course. Now, that's where I enter the picture once more. I suppose you got the keys. Fella, I, I'd never steal anything as worthless as a key. Your desk locked? I need a paper clip to clean my ears. Yeah. Why? Excuse me. I'm gonna go over here and fart. So, we're gonna get in a caper with Grover Cleveland. What are you doing? Sir, I'm going to give you a hundred thousand dollar demonstration in ten seconds. Man, that's disgusting. Uh, uh. Oh, I broke the key off in the lock. <laughs> now that cell door is much easier. That's all that stands between. Well, got me a fresh sack of critter pellets. Critter. And you only want a third. Well, I, I've been thinking of retiring, and my wants are quite simple, really. Easy cheese and cannon reruns. Tonight, I shall get good and drunk. Oh, Break good. A show window, it's good to have dreams, I guess. <laughs> Tomorrow, I'll be at Eastwood County Jail as their number one trustee. The head of Otis? I need only one brave man. I think I know you. What's your name? <laughs> uh, the boy will do. Boy? Even if he does think I'm nutty. What's your name? Bob Ovalhead. Blatz. Harry Blatz. I brewed a pretty crummy beer, I admit it. Well, I have a private meeting in my oil tank. Excuse me, Mr. Blatz, while I have a talk with this bright young man. Everyone thinks he's so young, the guy's in his 40s. 
I don't know. This guy's no Joseph Kors. You tell me. Can you get it? What, the knack? You mean I can go with Harry? If you can get back here with the stuff without the cops, yeah. But if you bungle it... No circus pizza later. Remember, I don't know you. Now, where's my money? I spent it all on these magic beans. Wow, a young kid like me breaking into crime. You hear that, Traveler? Yeah, the boys tried to take him home, but he grabbed one of their flashlights and threw it through a plate glass window. Me? Oh, I'm still ugly. Well, if he wants to live off the county, he can go to the welfare department. The <laughs> judge will probably give him 10 days this time. I'm gonna work his tail off all the time. So, you called 911. What's up? Okay, bye. Boy, the murders are stacking up. Man, you know, if you're the town drunk of L.A., you've got a problem. <laughs> All right, Harry, let's get some work done. Man, he uses his one call to have liquor delivered. <laughs> now my widow's peak snaps into action. <laughs> oh, we had another bloody Christmas episode in the holding cell. Clean it up, would you? <laughs> I think prison garbage would be damper than that, Mike. The true story of the great Mendocino County garbage heist. Good thing he's so young and agile. <laughs> he's just a kid. Be careful up there. Whoa! Big neck cramp. So young. Very young. Can't keep all this luscious refuse to myself. Here, this will give you something to do with those busy hands. <laughs> what is he implying? <laughs> okay, what do we do now? Just follow me and act as if you lived here. Ah, remember when the movie was just hot girls dancing around? Oh, yeah. Just about time for my Jerry Orbach lesson. I reproduced asexually while I was out, sir. Tonight on Oz. Morning, Otis. Harry, I thought you got out. But I've returned. You ought to lay off that stuff. Man, when I get out of here, I don't want to ever see the inside of this place again. <laughs> uh, Otis, uh, say hello to Buzz. Buzz? What's he in for? Oh, his wife claims that he beat her up. Now, you know how broads are. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I've been here 18 months. Well, enough of the chit chat, boys. We'd best get on with our duties. I don't want to be responsible for you going on bread and water on your very first day. Although they do make a great onion and rosemary focaccia. What are you trying to do? Merely establish a witness in case I should ever find need of one. Well, I don't like it. Now, there's nothing to be concerned about. He has no way to finger you without my help. Well, since you're wearing a jumpsuit. You see, I've been planning my retirement for some time. Let's go. There's some garbage in the men's room I'm just itching to get my hands on. Yeah, this place could use a plant or a kitten poster or something. Yeah, at least one of those motivational posters. Yeah, you know, like, you can get out of jail. You can escape. Yeah. Well, thanks for getting me in here. I'll see you in the soup line tomorrow. Well, open it up. No, I mean your jumpsuit. Come on. See, now he's breaking further into jail. That doesn't seem very wise. You get it. Don't worry. I'm Pat McCormick. All my little precautions have now been taken. <laughs> From here on, it's as easy as falling off the proverbial log. No, don't you idiot! What are you... Take the satchels, put them into the wastebasket. You carry them to your car and drive away. And I won't mind seeing you go. Because I know that there is now only one way you can keep paying me my share. Yep, that's the way. You figured out how to do it. Beating in my skull with a tire iron. Oh, there's my brains on the floor. Harry Blatz is dead. Falling water signs have stopped for the day. Yes, my plan is perfect. I've been spotted by several people, and I killed the guy. <laughs> well, what can you expect? He's just a child. You may think 
that. The success with Leo and all the kooks in this joint mean you got the world by the tail. But that ain't the case, mm. baby. It's got you by the tail. Man, she put on seven pairs of false eyelashes and didn't notice. So, you going to the company picnic? Crack. Now an easy to take crack caplets. You, you wouldn't believe it, but I came to this town four years ago. And I was just as young and as fresh. As Marianne Faithful. As you are right now. And see this hand? Was steady as a rock. Then I saved Private Ryan. And I had a pretty mind. I used to dress it up in nice clothes. <laughs> Then my mind had babies and got stretch marks. Oh. Oh, God. I wish I had that pretty mind back. Yeah, well, so can I borrow your lipstick or not? Jump! Don't <laughs> Laurel and Hardy of strippers. Help! Help! Help me, please! Her false eyelashes are smothering her! Dr. Critter. Michelle, get that junk off the couch. Or scrape it off, Let's steam it off. Oh, you better just boil the couch. What happened? I don't know. She just fainted. She took three pounds of heroin and just fainted. I don't know what happened. <laughs> well, you know, we gotta drag her out on stage and take her clothes off manually. I'm sure you know what's wrong there, Leo. You used to be on staff at the Mayo Clinic. Well, knowing Joni, I can imagine, Critter. Ooh. She's probably on a bad trip in those pills she takes. <laughs> she did take one not long before she fainted. One? It's not the first time this has happened. It's become a habit with her. Somebody better call a doctor. Nobody's calling a doctor. I'm a Christian scientist. She'll survive the way she always does. Wow, his head must have brushed against the ceiling. You know, maybe it's too bad she will survive. She has to shave my back to me. She used to be a good dancer. She still is, but she's losing her spark. Oh. Besides, she's old hat with the customers. She's a straw boater? Michelle. <laughs> you may be the luckiest girl in Hollywood. No, that would be Leah Thompson. You got what it takes to really blow their minds. <laughs> <laughs> and a little more to boot. Really so, boot. Starting tonight, uh, you'll replace Joni permanently. And you'll be the number one attraction here. I couldn't do that to Joan. <laughs> I bet you can. He's a tower of oil. And if it leaves your conscience, and let me tell you, she wasn't bad an eye stomping on you. And if you don't take her place, somebody else will. Like Charles Durning. If all this means an apartment like Joan's. A car. Plymouth Sundance. A wardrobe. A name up in lights. Believe me, baby. There ain't nothing like the sound of people clapping for you night after night. Getting the clap night after night is a different thing, of course. Yeah. Oh, I'm a lecturer at church today. Am I late? Look what, it, look what it's done for me. <laughs> well, this is a nice scene. Yeah. It's Get sweet. Out Get out of here! Get out! Who are you talking to? Oh, I'm talking to you! Get out of here! Get out of here! I'm oh, already stop. left here! You shut up! You shut up, you trashy bitch! Hey! Oh. Boss, I'm running to Staples. You need anything? You run, pig! Wow, I'll check the employee handbook, but I think that's out of line. Get out! Yay! Oh, no, no. Get out! Oh, okay. Man, even the sex and drug industry has a seamier side. Leo? I've got this stuff right here. Everything went off great, just great. You killed the guy, though. And old Harry Blast retired earlier than he planned to. Shut up! Old Harry. Just who is this Harry Blatt? How do oh. you know the name Harry Blatt, oh. Critter? Look what I found under here. I'm just gonna... Look, what you guys do is no business Let's of mine. See. Yeah. You're playing a game I don't know. And one I don't want to know. Corner. So if you don't mind, I'll just take my leave. Come on, Michelle, mm. you're going with me. It's too late for that decision, friend. You are involved. You're not going anyplace. No. Get in here. Uh, how long have you been saving that sight gag, Mike? Oh, not long, you know, I don't know. Just like, like I said, years. Michelle, <laughs> the pigs have finally pulled us down. Sit down. 
Oh, that hurt. Splash. <laughs> <laughs> Flash. This scene sponsored by Paneling World. Paneling World, for all your paneling needs. No. <laughs> don't get hair grease on the pool table. Yeah, don't. My complexion. When nominal group process gets out of control. <laughs> Oh, please, I'm susceptible, see? Stop it, my sister. Well, there goes his conscientious objector status. <laughs> wow. Losing oil. Nope. Okay. Okay, you've made your point. We'll get the damn water softener. I'll take your girl and get out of here. Uh-uh. The muck's too deep in here. Well, it's your fault. You're the janitor. Look, just take a stripper out of petty cash and leave, huh? Um, you have to dial nine. Operator, give me the police department. Hello, Ocean. <laughs> no, this isn't the police, Mr. Critter. No, don't worry. We're one number off. We get those calls a lot. <laughs> That's okay. Bub boy now. I ain't no signs are close together if you're going 65. Oh, so he learned he enjoys violence and he's ready to kill like a man oughta. Uh, so she stopped dancing and she's in a barber shop quartet now, I guess. Oh boy, how'd I get into this? She's dumb as a brick. Hi. No, honey, you promised me you'd throw your guitar in the ocean. You can dance on the rim of a rainbow, walk a tightrope across the sky, but you must come down, put your feet on the ground by and by. Do the giant toddler dance. You can shoot the curl free and easy. Honey, way to play the harmonica with your ass. Oh my god. Put your feet in the sand once more. So here's a puzzler. Who of these two is worse at their art form? Wow. That's deep, man. <laughs> She's dancing the special to TGI Fridays. Well, I hope she tells us in dance about the Jack Daniels grill. You're living a lie. You dance like a clown. I hope that you die. Oh, right. <laughs> I wonder if her dad will give her away at the wedding. Yeah, he'll probably try to sell her, actually. No, I bet dad's cleaned up since we saw him, and now he owns a chain of eats. <laughs> oh, there's a girl. Yeah. The girl Remember the beginning. The this is just the like the beginning. It's just like the beginning. Yeah. Girl. Filmed on location at Eat. And special thank to eat. <laughs> and I just can't get off this one note. Keep your silver bra filled with rest. <laughs> hey, we're all dressed like that ugly thug in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> so, your experiment caused them to dress as Arminian mobsters and giggle. <laughs> Look at those poor dopes writhing in pain. What do you think, huh? Pretty highfalutin mad science, uh huh? Right. They're not even fit for a guest spot on Beekman's world. For you. What? Oh, shut up and die, fathead. I'm all. No, sir, come on. You can't leave. 
I have to take over the world. There's absolutely nothing truly evil going on here. Wait a minute. Yes, yes, yes. I'll get yes. yes, yes. Forrester, this is mad. Well, decidedly mad. You showed us something quite new. It is new, isn't it? It's absolutely horrifying. All right, Forrester, you're in. Conditionally. Can he pony? Can I pony? <laughs> if we can harness this level of terror, we can rule the world! <laughs> 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 <laughs>